crazy old gate. <laughs> Look at him, the sleeping beauty. <laughs> nah, he wouldn't seem a joke. I'd have had a shot that kill him. <laughs> Look at him, I'm not only having neck for days. So I could get rid of him though. Let's take opportunity. <coughs> no one would know. <laughs> Old man, we can't. Died in his sleep. And no one would lick it. I'd be free. I could get out. And the business would be mine. No one would know. So oh, no, hello, Dan. <laughs> I was just going to put this behind your head. Now you're comfortable. <laughs> Have I been asleep? What time is it? Half past four. You're back early, aren't you? Have you unloaded the car? No, not yet. What are you hanging about for? Go on, get your finger out. Go on, go out and unload it. What are you standing about for? Why did I hesitate? <laughs> I was hoping you'd come out and give me a hand. I've got a great cart load out there. That's a change. None of those junk, I suppose. If ever you give me one word of encouragement, I shall drop down dead straight. I will. Come on, if you want me to do it, come on, let's get it over with. Well, I'll come in again and catch him asleep. I'll hang up that. <laughs> Do it like that. I can do it like that myself. I don't need your help. If that's what you call a lousy, you might as well go back inside and get to sleep. But the idea is to lift the thing off gently so as not to break anything. Yeah, if you're only good for firewood, you would have had to break it up anyway. Well, I'm going to judge what's going to be broken up or not. Just shift it gently. Yeah. There. Easy all right, isn't it? I ought to teach me bedroom to do with something on the wall. Oh, you've got a set. Chastity, virtue. Motherhood. Aha. Uh -huh. So, right on that full heart, they're revolting. <laughs> big women. I like big women. Oh, good. You don't get women like this these days. Generous, that's what they are. Ample. Yeah, I don't like these skinny birds they have today. No, I like big, beefy birds. Oh, little ones. They don't want little ones. It's the skinny ones I can't stand, like you go out with. I don't go out with skinny birds. They're a little bit near to the bone, aren't they? Not like this, mate. But there's no salt cellars there. That's all <laughs> me. <laughs> yeah, I'll have these in my room. Good night. Oi. What about the rest of it then? Oh, I don't want any more of that. I don't care what you don't want. You're a right scavenger, aren't you? You're just like a skinny little old vulture flapping about, opening a bar, waiting to pick the car clean. You drop those down, come up the unload. Oh, can't you do anything? All right, come on, hurry up. Show out here. Shoes like this since we bought a war. Put them back. Put them back. We ain't flogging these. There's been a polish of few nerves. I've set up for life. I'm turning this in. I'm no longer a rag and bone one. I'm just the personal outfit of you. Everything I bring home goes on your feet, your legs, your head, or up in your bedroom. You can either get the door to your room open as it is. Oh, let me have them. I like nice shoes. There's only eight pairs. You've got three tea chests up there full of shoes. You've got about 60 pairs up there. I like shoes. Oh, God. You've got three pairs of riding boots you never use. <laughs> you haven't slugged a bit of gear in years. You nick it all. You've got more bleeding clothes than George Simon. <laughs> go on, let me keep them. Oh, go on, take it. Take it. I don't care already. <laughs> Yeah, what's in this? Julie Samson, the damn small. What, what's in them? Gramophone records. Oh, no, not more gramophone records. Yeah, more gramophone records. I'm hoping to build up a comprehensive library of classical music. Oh, God. I suppose we'll have you with your head in your hand for the next fortnight now. And you've got enough of them classical bits already. No, I haven't. There's thousands of compositions I haven't even touched upon yet. Are they all classical? Are there no twist records in there? I oh, sincerely hope not. Look, I've got these from a very select lady. Her husband happens to be a doctor. And doctors have very cultivated taste in music. I should be very surprised if there's anything rotier than recommending off in here, mate. <laughs> <laughs> 
I think I'm very lucky. I might get sides one and two of Beethoven's Elden Spit. I've been looking for that for ages. I'm fed up of starting halfway through the first movement. You know, I haven't heard Beethoven's Elden Spit right the way through since September. And that was your fault. You ruined them. Damn four sides of Finlandia. You was in the most table mess. Well, it was only down to the seat of the table. Well, what about my symphony? Curl right up, they did. Great steaming teapot stuck right in the middle of it. <laughs> it's not replacing them, it's It's very difficult these days. The people's all under long players. There ain't many 78s of that. And there's upwards of eight records in a symphony of 78s, you know. Now, come on, let me sort it out. Then we'll have a recital, a musical soiree. You can sit down, put your feet up, relax. Do you good. It's that going down to Skinner's arms. You can stay in and listen to some good music for a change. Why not? Some of them. You are a right twit. <laughs> oh, God, the horse has got more taste in music than you have. <laughs> you want to see his ears go up when I whistles the ride of the Valkyrie. <laughs> you want to see him move. If I was to give him a twist again, he'd probably give me a kick right between the shards. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be Bobby's girl. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said she'd good taste, this woman. But I must be one of her daughters. Oh, kids are today. I mean, what does I know about music? That taste is really fundamentally bad. Oh, they all put me on that jukebox, will you know? I'd show them a thing or two. I'd really show them. I mean, the blasts and birds that I get on there, what do I know about music? I, I mean, what qualifications have they got to pass an opinion about music? I mean, I wouldn't ask them what time of day it was. I wish I could get on there. But you for everything as far as I'm concerned. Put me record on. No, no, you're not playing that. On my electric gramophone. You ruined my style. Oh, you've got to give me gramophone records if I can't play them. You buy your own gramophone. I wouldn't sell him my turntable with that rubbish. Buy your own gramophone and play it when I'm out here. The Broy's Summers and it's the boy of film. <laughs> Rosie of Piccadilly. <laughs> the Miner's Dream of Earth. <laughs> Jimmy Leach and his Oganolian. <laughs> Harry Roy and his ragtime band. <laughs> How that <Vet> Parker. <laughs> Charlie Khan. You've got some good ones there, haven't you? You keep quiet. All the good stuff must be at the bottom. <laughs> the Teddy Bear's Picnic. <laughs> Excerpts from the Chocolate Soldier. Oh, that's better. We'll get in there. Oh, yeah. This is the killer. Oh, Savinsky. Oh, I'm glad you that. Oh, Savinsky, that's marvellous. Sides one and two of the Firebird suit. Oh, that's <laughs> much better. for the old Look, Dad, sides one and two of the Firebird. Look, and it's hardly been played. Let's leave it that way. <laughs> we all know your ignorance. I mean, don't go on about it. Look, if you don't like it, sling your up or bung your right ears up or something. I mean, don't spoil it for me. I ain't right? talking to your house now. No, you can talk if you want to. I don't mind you talking. I mean, shut up. <laughs> I'm going to play my record. You can do it all day tomorrow while I'm out. I've got other things to do tomorrow. I always cobble at night. Will you stop it? You're I've missed half of it now. I'll have to start again. Well, I don't like your music, but I don't say Tony off, do I? That is hardly the same thing, is it? I mean, the quality of your cobbling is no way affected by my music. Whereas, conversely, I find it rather difficult to follow the score with you knocking seven bells out of them boots with a five-pound hammer. <laughs> no, will you kindly keep quiet? No, I'm going to cover it. What you are? You've got a twisted little 
school mom. You're laughing yourself. You can't stand me being something, can you? You can't stand me trying to better myself or watch me enjoy myself. Well, I'm going to play all my music. I'm going to play it all night. I'm going to play all my operas, all my concertos, and all my symphonies. I'm going to go right through my collection, mate. And I hope it puts you off. I hope you smash your fingers with the hammer. And when you wear them, I hope the nails stick right up in your feet and poison you. <laughs> That's why the loudest piece of music I've got, and I've got a tune to pull you right up. I'll drive you out, mate. Music don't only soothe the savage breath. It gives you a headache as well. <laughs> Do you know what this is? Wagner, mate. <laughs> really a drum splitter, then. Really when you are. <laughs> Well, you? No. They don't seem to be out here, do they? Of course they're out here. If you put them in the yard, they must be out here. They kind of disappeared. Oh, what have I got to do a stupid thing like that for? I mean, look at it. How are we going to find them? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I know you don't know. It was a rhetorical question. <laughs> oh, God, we can't find those keys. God, I mean, the keys to the safe are there. All our money's locked up. And the horse is locked in the stables. He can't get out. <laughs> we haven't said it. What are we going to do? Plug the oats through the key hole one at a time. You should have said it before you locked him up. Well, on my part, I didn't know you were going to throw the keys away, did I? The gates is locked up. We can't get out. Oh, what a great get you are. That's what I mean. What else can I blame? Just a minute. I've just remembered. We don't know how to set the keys. Well, what the hell did you say to in the first place? Grabbing on a yard and on the ground, eh? In the safe. <laughs> Oh, look, we, 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 we've got to think about this. I mean, it's not just wandering around at haphazard. We, we've got to work this out scientifically. Now, how hard did you throw them? Well, it sort of went like this. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Stand by the door. Now, at what angle was you standing? <laughs> not this, I think. You're sure? He's on his way. Right. Now, here are the keys. Have you found them? It's a stone. <laughs> it represents the keys. Now, you come rushing out of the line, just like you did before, and throw this stone with the same velocity, at the same angle, in the same direction, the same elevation as what you threw the keys. If I can remember what they taught me about ballistics and the gunners during the war, I might be able to work out the estimated uh, velocity, range and angle. Right? Right. Go! <laughs> Where'd he go? How there? Give him where? I don't know. We better go out and look for it, haven't we? I'm not looking for no stones. There's plenty of stones there. We can't find a key. Now let's start again. Let me see that program. Hold it there. <laughs> oh, yes. I think I can work out the general direction for the estimated trajectory. <laughs> But oh, 
extremely cool. And I ride for a reasonable margin of error in the estimated trajectory. The key should be somewhere in that lot. <laughs> Can you remember, what sort of sound did they make when they landed? They made a sort of a, a, a tingling sound. Like a bunch of keys, that's right. <laughs> Thank you. You're a great help. Come on, let's get going. Wait, well, you all that, lot. Have you got any better suggestions? Yes, I have. Hold on a minute. What good is that? What good is that? It's a mind detector. No, no, it's a mind detector. I didn't think it was a vacuum thing. I'm just asking. <laughs> what good is it? It detects a metal object. It detects metal objects. Yeah. When you come across anything metal, it makes a noise with the headphones, and the nearer you get to it, the louder it gets. We'll pin for them clear in no time. Nothing. Could you tell me, in your opinion, what would you say that the majority of the stuff in this yard consisted of? <laughs> metal. Metal. <laughs> You're not daft, are you? Go on, take them things off. If you get any more bright ideas, shut up. Let me do the thinking. <coughs> but don't throw it over there. We're going to shift all that lot. Now look, there's only one methodical way of doing it. We take it off piece by piece, we shake it, and we put it somewhere else. Look at this, right? It'll take all night. This wouldn't have happened if you hadn't brought on those rotten gramophone records. Shall we come in? <laughs> Will you concentrate on a job in hand? It'll be dark to anyone I've had it. Oh, now, there's a possibility. They could have gone in there. Look around, see if you can find them. I'm with me hand in there. Why not? There might be mice in there. Well, they won't eat you. Oh, huh? no, I can't bear mice. Give it a bit of Oh, don't tell me you're frightened of little mice. A great grown man like you, what's got medals from the war. They're lovely little things. Aren't you ever seen them cast that? They're beautiful. Great big floppy ears. <laughs> if you're so brave, put your hand in. You've got gloves on. No, I'm not putting my hand in there. You're off the cliff. You put your hand in. No, no, I'm sorry. I, I, I couldn't, Harold. It, it, it's nothing about mice. I just couldn't do it. Oh, God, you're like a little old woman, you. I fancy being frightened. I've never heard anything so ridiculous in my life. <laughs> Well, there's nothing in there. Ratlet. <laughs> there's something in there. Might be a skeleton. <laughs> well, I like a doll. Could you get up? <laughs> <laughs> no, lift the lid and see if there's a skull in there. There's something in there. I heard it rattle. Right. Oh, how can a bunch of keys get in there? And the whole purpose of these things is to keep stuff out. Well, he could have got in there. Well, whatever it is, he won't be up there. It'll be down in his legs. Go on, take his legs off. <coughs> it's a <it's> key. <laughs> oh, God, he's done. I'm not forgiving him a wallet. Yeah. Yeah, great pudding. It's one of them pairs you brought back. Four thousand of them. That was a brilliant piece of iron on your part. Hey, whoa, 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 what's this? That's one of your brilliant boys. Five gallon tins of army surplus paint. <laughs> Khaki. Here, there's one without a lid on it. Hey, look, the skin seems open. That's been done recent. That's where they are, I bet you. That's where they are. They're in there. Well, put your hands in, get them out. No, I don't put my hand in there. But it's only paint. Well, you put your hand in. No, I've got better clothes on than you. <laughs> now, I suddenly remember I can't. I'm, I'm allergic to paint. Brings me out in a rash when I've got paint on me. You said that about water. It's the lead. The lead is started. <laughs> it was the gas in the 1419 wall started it. I remember we was on the song. All right, all right, mind that. You got them? I think they're very special, yes. Have you found the keys? No, I've not found the keys. I have found that stone that you ducked in there. <laughs> Did you hear me? Where are you? 
Charcoal, I always find him most relaxing. Almost soporific, you might say. 